Welcome back to our channel. Today we're discussing some groundbreaking news in HIV treatment. Gilead Sciences and Merck recently announced exciting results from a phase two trial of a new, investigational once-weekly HIV treatment. This development could mean a significant shift in the way HIV is managed. Traditionally, HIV treatment involves daily medication, which can be challenging for some people. The new combination therapy being tested by Gilead and Merck uses two powerful compounds Ilotravir and Lenacapavir. These two work together, each targeting HIV differently to keep the virus under control. Here's what happened in their recent Phase 2 study. By week 48, 94.2% of the participants on the new once-weekly regimen had a viral load below 50 copies per milliliter, a key indicator that the virus was effectively suppressed. For context, no participant had a viral load above this threshold, showing promising consistency for this new approach. So what exactly are Islatravir and Lenacapavir? Lenacapavir is a unique antiretroviral drug that works in multiple stages of the HIV life cycle, which allows it to be effective even against strains of the virus that have developed resistance to other treatments. In 2022, a twice-yearly injectable version called Sunlenka was approved for individuals with multidrug-resistant HIV. This long-acting injection has also shown strong results as a pre-exposure prophylaxis prep for both cisgender women and for gay, bisexual, and gender-diverse people. Gilead offers lenacopavir in a pill form for initial treatment, which can also act as a temporary substitute if a scheduled injection is missed. Islatravir, also known as FDA or MK8591, is a novel type of drug called a nucleoside reverse transcriptase translocation inhibitor. It's shown strong effects in combination with Doravirine Pifiltro, helping maintain viral suppression in individuals who switch from other treatments. Its long half-life makes it suitable for long-acting treatment and prevention options. In a statement, Dr. Jared Baton from Gilead highlighted that this weekly regimen is a step toward making HIV treatment more person-centered, allowing options that better fit individual lifestyles. Dr. Elizabeth Ree from Merck also emphasized that once weekly dosing could improve treatment adherence and reduce stigma. Development of the investigational drug Islatravir faced a setback in 2021 when clinical trials revealed concerning side effects. Participants living with HIV in treatment trials showed a drop in CD4 T cell counts, while HIV negative volunteers in prevention studies experienced a decrease in total lymphocyte counts. This led the FDA to place a clinical hold on the drug. Following an in-depth review, Merck scientists concluded that these issues were likely due to high dosing levels. The FDA lifted the hold, allowing Merck to resume studies using a lower dose of Islatravir in combination with other drugs. However, its development for PrEP use was halted. A Phase I, I trial examined a once-weekly combination of Islatravir with Lenacapavir, enrolling 104 virologically suppressed adults previously on daily Bictarvi, with high viral suppression rates and stable immune cell counts. Participants were randomly assigned to continue Bictarvi or switch to once-weekly Islatravir 2 mg and Lenacapavir 300 mg. After 24 weeks, viral suppression remained consistent across both groups 94.2%, and by 48 weeks, the Islatravir and Lenacapavir group maintained the same suppression rate, with no participants experiencing a viral load above 50 copies ml. The safety profile was positive 19.2% of participants in the weekly regimen group and 5.8% in the Bictarvi group reported mild to moderate side effects. Common symptoms included dry mouth and nausea, with no severe CD4 or lymphocyte count decreases. These findings support the potential of Islatravir and Lenacapavir as a once-weekly oral treatment for HIV. A fixed-dose combination pill is now being tested in phase I, I trials Island 1 and Island 2. Dr. Jared Baton from Gilead again highlighted the importance of person-centered, long-acting HIV treatment options that cater to individual needs, noting the goal of providing varied, effective options for people living with HIV. Now let's talk about side effects. In the trial, some participants on the new regimen experienced mild side effects, like dry mouth and nausea. These effects were relatively rare and mild, and none of the participants experienced severe adverse effects. Two people did discontinue the regimen, but for reasons unrelated to the treatment. 
These findings are not just about numbers. For people living with HIV, a weekly pill could mean fewer reminders of their condition, greater convenience, and possibly even better long-term adherence. And this study marks just the beginning phase three trials are next, to confirm these findings on a larger scale. Gilead and Merck's work is part of a larger trend in HIV research focused on long-acting treatments, including injections and other delivery methods. The aim? To provide options that fit the unique needs of every person with HIV, ultimately helping to end the epidemic for everyone. Thank you for tuning in to learn about this exciting development in HIV treatment, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on breakthroughs in health. See you next time.